Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Let me move this back ever so slightly. There we go. So it's been a hot minute and we're going to talk about why. But as you can see, I have finally finished this shirt. For those of you that don't remember, it was McCall's. Looks a lot like the Agent Carter shirt. Please excuse my hair. I got my hair cut yesterday. I got like a lot of hair cut off yesterday. And my hair did that thing where it like freaks out. Like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> like, cause I got like almost three inches taken off. Cause I hadn't had a, really had a haircut since pre COVID. So I got a lot cut off, but, um, so my hair's not really wanting to do the vintage thing today. I did do a, a wet set last night when I, I re-wet it and I did a wet set and, uh, I woke up this morning and it was like, you know, it was, it had exploded overnight apparently. So, but I digress. Let's talk about this shirt. So, um, I had some issues with the shirt, which is what took me so long to make a video about it. Specifically, you know, my history with sleeves. <laughs> We've already been over this, right? My history with sleeves, they're my nemesis. Um, and remember I had cut the sleeve wrong. I had wanted to do the three quarter. I ended up doing the full length sleeve, whatever. When I was setting in the sleeves, I got done one whole sleeve and I'm all proud of myself and I look at it and I realize I put the wrong sleeve in the wrong armhole. So I had to completely rip all the stitches after I had eased this set in sleeve. <laughs> and have you heard the phrase takes the winds wind out of your sails? <laughs> that just about sunk the boat. I mean, I literally didn't do anything for a day and just sat and thought, well, maybe if I save all the money that I spend on fabric, I can just buy myself really nice reproductions or like really nice vintage stuff. <laughs> Cause I was over it. I was like, you know what? Maybe I can't sell. <laughs> Maybe what I used to be able to do when I was a kid, I can't do anymore for whatever reason, but kind of got my groove back and I finished the shirt. So let's talk about the shirt. I'm going to stand up for just a minute. Excuse the sweatpants. So you can see I haven't hemmed it yet. I'm letting it relax, but I did uh, overcast it. Um, it's a really lovely fit. And remember how nervous I was about the sleeves not being long enough? They're long enough and I don't know what I did, but they're really... Can you see how much room is in there? So I think I'm going to turn these into a flip sleeve and do them more like, you know, in this style, right? Because this, can you see how large the band is on the cuff? I mean, it's more than enough room for me to flip it. Um, I think I'm going to do it where you can alternate. You can make it a flip sleeve or not make it a flip sleeve. But generally speaking, I really am loving this shirt. And uh, I, the darts do fit better, but I got a new bra. In fact, I got the bra that's recommended by the Closet Historian. They sell it at Kohl's, so I ordered it online. It's the Bally Flower Bra, and she's right. It does have that more traditional pointy boob kind of shape that, you know, old vintage um, lingerie has, but it's got a freaking hardcore wire. I mean, this, Seriously, the wire in this bra is like a freaking hate crime. I'm not kidding you. Um, so I don't know, but it does lift me up to where they need to be. And so there, my dart actually fits correctly. So that was good. I'm wearing my grandmother's vintage rose gold brooch and my $5, uh, where did I get these? Thrift store? No, oh, these were the antique shop, $5 antique shop clip-ons. Uh, like I said, my hair won't do the vintage thing today. Um, so I have to say all in all about this pattern. I think that this pattern is a great pattern for someone who is a really competent beginner or someone who's more advanced. I wouldn't say this is a beginner pattern for lots of reasons. It has a very unusual back I don't, so, I don't know if you guys, if I can show you the neckline, but see this neckline? Uh, this, this collar is like two pieces. So this stands up in the back and I definitely did not do the facing right on this. Um, and then see the collar just rolls over and you're just pressing it down and it's got interfacing in it, which makes it quite beautiful, but it does make it a little 
unusual. And I still, I still kind of want to put shoulder pads in this. I still have those shoulder pads. I might, these might get shoulder pads too. I might put shoulder pads in everything. It might be like the eighties up in here, right? Shoulder pads everywhere. Um, another thing about it, some other problems that I had, um, because I had to rip and pull this fabric so much, even though this is hundred percent cotton, it is a quilting cotton. Cotton's very forgiving, especially hundred percent cotton. You can usually steam out any of the little problems you have, but I do have a couple of places where the actual grain of the fabric pulled. There's a little pull mark and I, could, I tried pressing it out and it looks a little bit better, but it's still there. Also from pulling the thread in and out, there's a couple marks over here. I can actually feel them on where I did the gather to ease the sleeve in. So, you know, just saying this has, I'm going to show you the, I'm going to show you the pictures because it's easier to see them in the pictures. So I made this one. So you guys can see it has on the front two darts plus plus bus darts on either side. So six darts total on the front. And then the back has another two back darts. Again, you know, so you have a total of eight darts. That's a lot of darts for a shirt. It also has, and I don't know if you can see this on the sleeve. See that? When you're doing the cuff, there's a pleat and there's actually a little, um, they have a little mark where you create the pleat because you need to put a pleat on either side of the sleeve. I mean, sorry, yeah, the sleeve above the cuff. So it has a lot going on. Uh, I still really do love it, especially yesterday when I finally finished it and I got these beautiful vintage buttons on, I was like, wow. This is so beautiful with these vintage buttons. It's it's weird. It's I feel like it's still a little big in the shoulders for me, which is why it may get shoulder it may get shoulder pads. But generally speaking, this is a beautiful blouse. Um, I could see myself making it in a more expensive fabric like a rayon, but I can also see how complicated that would be because if you make one mistake, you're ripping that rayon up. And because it's got so many darts, because it's got an unusual stand-up collar in the back with a shawl collar in the front, because of the cuffs, everything else, it is it is the kind of shirt that if you made a mistake, you, there's more chances for you to make a mistake is what I'm trying to say. So, but um, I'm going to make another video probably today, but post it tomorrow. And I'm going to talk about my next, my next adventures in sewing since I got my groove back and I'm not going to quit sewing and buy everything from... Uh, you know, House of Foxy, uh, which I can't afford anyway. But, you know, you get that minute where you're like, screw it. I'll spend $100 on a shirt rather than have to go through this setting in sleeves crap again. Um, <laughs> so summer's coming. It's May officially. So the next video, I'm going to talk about my plans for summer sewing, uh, which is basically in the month of May and into June. I want to make house coats. I want to make some cotton house dresses, not coats, sorry, house dresses. Some cotton house dresses that I can throw on when the humidity in New Jersey uh, gets to, you know, 100% and it's 100 degrees outside. And yes, that actually happens in New Jersey. And no, it doesn't rain because New Jersey is actually a swamp. Technically, it's a peninsula of New York, but it's kind of a swamp. So, yeah. It's not unusual in the summer in New Jersey to have 100% humidity, plus it's 100 degrees outside, but it doesn't actually rain. You just walk outside and everybody's walking around in the sauna and they have to do like warnings for pregnant women and people with asthma and people at risk because it's that bad. You can't, you can't actually breathe the air. So there you go. But for when those dog days come, I would like to do some, some light cotton house dresses to throw on when the weather is bad and just be able to kind of, you know, just have that layer on um, that get some, get some air up it, right? We all know what we're talking about, ladies. Get some air up there. Uh, so anyway, till that video, whether you watch it or not, which I'll probably post, like I said, tomorrow. Um, I hope everybody has a great day. It's a beautiful Sunday here. And, um, I'll see you in the next video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me, and anybody who's made this, please let me know. I'm really curious what your thoughts are, were on this because this is a weird pattern just because of the collar and some of the other details. It's not super hard, but it's also not an easy pattern. Um, and it's funny because look what McCall says. McCall says, oh no, it's an easy pattern. 
you lie, McCall's. It's not an easy pattern. Uh, so yeah, if you've made this, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to